Hey YouTube, we're back for another review of some tech. Some tech, this time we're talking about something near and dear to my heart, something that I think the truth really needs to come out about, because right now this is a problem, and I'll tell you why. Because what we're reviewing, Beats by Dre, solo HD headphones. And I'm going to talk about the whole entire Beats line here. Beats headphones came out a couple of years ago to wild fanfare. Everyone was like, oh my god, they're so amazing. And uh, they came out with their original solo um, headphones that had the band cracking problem. They fixed those, came out with the solo HDs. Um, and everyone is buying these up like crazy. I live on college campus and holy crap there are a lot of these flying around. And there are a lot of people that have said forget the solo HDs we're gonna spend extra money and get get the Beats headphones and then get the Beats Pros and it drives me crazy because as a tech reviewer I know the truth. I know the I know the truth, and the truth is, these are the only Beats headphones you should ever buy, as far as over ear headphones. We'll talk about the in-ear ones, we're going to review those, that's a separate video. These are the only over ear headphones from Dr. Dre that you should buy, and I'll tell you why. The Solo HDs made for the consumer, made for the consumer. The Beats by Dr. Dre, the bigger ones, feel cheap. They feel cheap, they're made of cheap plastic, they break, I had a roommate that had them, his were all cracked up. They just, they suck. They're not worth the money, the build quality isn't there. And the sound quality really isn't there either for $400. You're wasting your money, people. You're wasting your money. Go buy some Bose Quiet Comfort headphones. You'll be amazed. Or Soul SL300s by Ludacris. Haven't got a chance to get those on. All the reviews I've read say the build quality is there for those. We'll see about those. We'll check them out. Um, I'm not planning on buying them. So if anyone wants to send me a review pair, I'd be willing to, to review them, send, post a video up of them. Um, I'm not going to spend the money all myself because it's not there. It's not there for them. Uh, but we'll review them and you know, we'll see. If someone will send me a pair, if someone wants to give me a free pair, that, that would be great. That would be great. Much appreciated. Anyways, back back to these. Let me talk about the pros, by the way. Just, just a little change on the pros. The pros are made for pros. These pros. They feel, first off, they weigh a bajillion pounds. Oh my god. They're really comfy. They're really comfy. I've tried them on. Um, the problem is, folks, those are made for pros. Playing music out of your Blackberry? I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to you. You know who I'm talking to. Playing music from your Blackberry on them? You, you wasted your money, first off. You wasted the money. The pros are made for pros. You have to have pro audio equipment, or else you you're 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 losing the experience. Because whenever you put a file onto an electronic device, um, that is not four square update. That is not a uh, BlackBerry, or that is, that is not a high quality device. You know, if you're not playing music on your laptop, not playing out on the soundboard you're not getting the full experience. Because whenever they put music on here, they take that format, they compress it down so you lose the quality. You lose the quality whenever they put it on here. And that shows up in, in the high-end beats. And people just don't know that. They're wasting their money. They're like 500 bucks. You're wasting 500 bucks. Spend 200 to get these. Um, now, let me tell you about these. First off, they... They kind of rattle. I don't know if you can hear that. 
They rattle, it's really weird, I don't like it. Um, the build quality is fine. They feel a lot more high-end than these Beats, the bigger ones. Um, they feel lower quality than the Pros, obviously. The Pros, wow. Those feel so nice. Those are the Rolls Royce headphones, in my opinion. Uh, these, they, they feel fine. Honestly, I found clarity uh, throughout um, basically everything. The higher end's a bit, bit unclear. Uh, so you lose a bit of the high end. But they, they, they sound good. I use them to watch movies a lot. I watch a lot of movies wearing these. Um, and they feel they feel nice. Like, I mean, sound wise, they sound nice. Now, feel, let's talk about feel. First off, um, cushioning, very padded, very padded right there, very padded, padded here. Problem is, they're not padded enough. Wear these for a couple hours and your ears hurt. They hurt because of the headphones. I don't know what it is. I get tired of them. Um, I used to wear these every day, almost all day, and I my ears would hurt so bad. At the end of the day, I've quit wearing them. I've switched to just earbuds. Uh, these leak a lot of sound. If you turn them up, they leak a lot of sound. It's just kind of annoying. Why not? Uh, they come with two cords, two of these monstrously thick cords. This this is worth the two hundred dollar price. These cords are wonderful. They are super duper thick. Come with that one cord with control talk, one without uh, control talk. Great, you know, you can up down uh, the volume. One tap, pause and play. Two taps, uh, skip. Forward, three taps, get back, hold it. Um, if you have your iPhone, you use voice control, it's got a speaker. You can answer phone calls, talk to it. Sound quality on these uh, through the microphone is pretty good. Pretty good, I mean, nothing exceptional, but it's pretty decent. Uh, gold plated plug. You have this L shaped plug, which I hated at first, but I kind of like. Um, kind of hides away. I have the R Box Defender first, and it kind of doesn't work very well. Now I have the commuter works pretty well with that. Um, you know, works well with my iPod Touch. Uh, it's it's unpluggable from the headphones, which I love. Uh, and I didn't realize how much I loved this fact before, um, until I went back to my other headphones, which I had Skull Candy uh, Skull Crushers. We'll we'll talk about those later. Uh, but it only plugs into one side, which is a great thing on headphones. Um, the band is really flexible, so that's a nice feature of it. It comes with this neoprene case, you know, the second core, and the cleaning cloth, which I've never opened. I've had these forever. Uh, I got one with product red ones. I think they're, you know, the best looking. You can get the matte black ones. I would not get the straight black ones. They show so many fingerprints. Uh, red ones show fingerprints, but not, not that bad. The white ones, um, the white ones look good. I was I was in a debate between these and the white ones. I went to Product Red because I believe in what Product Red does, and uh, a lot of times I, I will go with the Product Red. Um, I'm going with Product Red Smart Cover. My iPad two comes in. Uh, so that's that. Two hundred dollar price tag. No, hundred twenty five dollar price tag. Yes. $200, too much for them. It's too much for them. Um, but this is, this is the cream of the crop when it comes to the Beats line. Of course, you're paying for the monster name, you're paying for the Dre name, you're paying for the design. Uh, but don't get anything else. That's what I want to talk to you about in this video most. Do not buy pros unless you're a pro DJ if you're a professional DJ if you're a professional sound recorder if you're a professional mixer and you're plugging it in straight to the mixing board I have plugging it in you know sh you know straight to pro quality uh, software then they're great but for you that's out there listening to it on your blackberry your iPhone or your iPod touch or your iPod Shuffle? 
You're what? You wasted your money. You're a retard. You're a retard. You should do some some research before you buy. Um, and uh, so there it is. But beats solo HDs. Talk about sound quality. Bass is really strong. Bass is really strong. But uh, it could, in my opinion, it could be stronger. I'm a bass fan. I like to feel the bass. You don't really feel the bass. You get a bass heavy sound. If you don't feel the bass, there's a difference. And if you've ever sat next to the subwoofer in a concert, you know what I'm talking about. Until you feel the bass and a bass heavy sound. Uh, everything seems pretty crisp except for the high end. Volume wise, you can get a good volume. They pump out. Uh, something no one at this ever, in any review I've ever seen of these, said that you can do this, but you can. The air cups come off. There they are. And here is why those are so uncomfortable, because it has this raised bump right there. And the problem is, is whenever your ear pushes down the air cup, that raised bump pokes through this, this screen a bit, and it pushes against your ear, and it's really uncomfortable. Anyways, you can take the ear cuffs off. Don't worry about it. The speaker's already protected by this hard plastic. I'm not sure why you need to take these off, but you can. There you go. Uh, so that's the review Solo HDs. Remember, keep subscribing to my videos. We'll post some more tech reviews later on. Peace out.